Wow. Okay, Scorpio. It's like you've acknowledged or realized um, this could be just a situation or a person that you've been used, taken advantage of somehow. You felt that way. You're kind of walking. You know, you're, you're moving forward. You're moving forward from it. So I do see that kind of energy. Um, definitely creative energy this week. You're making a lot of spiritual connections too. There is nice harmonious um, energy and this is like unity. I like it. Um, there's a radiance to you this week and it's beautiful. There is a strong energy here to act as if um, you already have the situation, um, a job or it, that you have what you want, okay? There is that energy and that's going to be able to manifest some things. But this is also, you're able to adjust to all situations, all moods and um, requirements. Okay, you are the chameleon this week too, okay? So definitely seeing that kind of energy. It is important to, you know, stop being hard on yourself um, because it's like you're kind of upset about some things, but at the same time, you start kind of beating yourself up. This is a time of growth. We learn from it and we move forward and we take our power back. We make our own choices, decisions, and destiny. So definitely um, that energy is showing up. Um, a lot of growth this week. I definitely like that. I do see also this is a time to, it's like you're wavering. One minute you're happy, one minute you're grieving. There's a sense of grief um, or guilt. I don't know. There's both of them here. Despondency. So watch any kind of depression or mood swings this week too. Balance your time. You're going to have to make maybe a decision between either two jobs um, or you're being, you know, pulled in two directions. Yeah, actually, this is almost like the energy of, um, I want to say trying to balance your finances, but at the same time, I feel it's, I want to say, don't burn the candle at both ends of the stick. It's like work home, work home, work home. And that can just be a little bit monotonous. And so balancing your time is going to be a little bit um, important. There's a sense of despondent energy here too. You're focusing on some kind of pain from the past or someone that's done you wrong or something that didn't go your way. It's time to know that um, a change of perspective and and that is kind of clearing up. This is, a, you know, endings, bittersweet endings from some disappointment or from some kind of, um, you know, worry, whatever it is. It turns to be a blessing in disguise because I see you. there's a, um, major changes that are coming up, total victory, there's a fears and worries leaving you. It's like a total um, win or victory or success, a wish fulfillment, very hopeful energy. All right, so there is beautiful energy here, very hopeful. Um, this is also maybe um, a secret wish for some of you that you never disclosed either is coming to fruition. It's like um, a wishing upon a star. I do see here um, get togethers, celebration, happiness, this is definitely a time of you, I mean, this is like you, you're very radiant. You are the chameleon this week too, okay? You're making a lot more spiritual connections. Um, I do like that too. But, you know, it's a caution how you proceed this week because it's like your moods can go up and down, up and down. So it's, an, you know, it's like a bittersweet ending, shutting the door to the past behind or things that have not worked out for you. and But you've got this wish fulfillment. You've got happiness coming through. Celebrations, good news, get-togethers. I mean, it's like from something that you thought is negative, it just turns into something better, okay? It's it's really good energy that comes through after all this, I don't know, it's a grief and despondent type of energy.